in that triple color mood lately. That's a GG right there. The Nazgul submits to the true kings. Of course. Pigs. Fantastic. I can't believe we're going to make diamond with pigs. That's nuts. Welcome back, everybody, to the show. I am your host, as always, Jay Villain, a.k.a. That Villain J. And tonight, we have a very special treat for you. Yes, we do. Why? Because tonight, we have a machine for pigs. If you understand that reference, you're a real one. We have the war pigs. We have the big boys, the hogbacks. Uh, we have everything that you could think of. It is the Abzan Boar Deck. Um... And yeah, you knew it was coming. I mean, you saw the new alchemy stuff. This is alchemy pigs. Uh, and it is brutal, dude. We went on a streak tonight. We were beating people up. We're almost in diamond playing a pig meme deck. I can't even, I can't even, man. I can't even with this. So I got to show you this one, man. It's really fun. This is my version. Uh, it's a lot of fun. It's a great time. Uh, before we get into that, um, I need you to do something for me, though. Tenderly press that like button. Gently press that subscribe button. Because if you don't, if you don't press that like and subscribe button, you will be attacked by the like and subscribe, which you may or may not know is a YouTube werewolf with vicious claws that will rip you apart for not liking the video and subscribing and becoming a villain today. Join us on a stream every night at twitch.tv slash that villain J for our live stream goodness. We would love to have you there live and in person on Twitch or hit the bell and get notified when we go live on YouTube as well. Yes, we are going live on YouTube as well, so don't miss either of those. You can check out our Discord community for all the latest news and information, post your decks, ask questions, anything that you want. And of course, this deck and all the other ones that I build are available down below on my Aether Hub. So if you want a copy of this crazy pig boy deck, uh, just go right down there in the description. It's right where you go. Subscribe, it's right below that. And um, check us out. Check out that Aether Hub. So, Bigger Pigs. I built one originally. That's why this is Bigger Pigs. Um... I built one originally, it didn't quite work. This is the better one, this is the final draft. We have two cards here that are basic, okay? We have Destroy Evil and Reprieve. Destroy Evil is your enchantment destruction and your big creature destruction. Those are gonna be important. So that's kind of your Swiss Army Knife utility card there. Enchantments and big boy creatures like Sheldred or something. One white and one, it's a great removal. Now you know I'm playing black, but I'm not playing that much black where I feel like it's more white than anything else, so I feel like if you want to do a different type of destroy, sure you could. I mean, you could put a go for the throw. That Anything is fine there. I prefer that one because we have the ability to destroy the enchantments, which are really, uh, which are really important to get rid of as well. Reprieve. Everyone's sleeping on this card from Lord of the Wings. It is essentially a white counterspell because they felt like white wasn't didn't have enough things it couldn't do enough things so they said what if white could counter spell as well and this was the answer so you return target spell to its owner's hand if somebody is playing a spell a removal anything they want it literally just has to go back into their hand and you get to draw a card as an instant i usually save this for big spells i try if if somebody is either going to play a very clutch spell and their mana locked out so i know they can't play it again or if they are going to play something just huge that's going to take up a whole nother turn or they ramp to it and they don't have the treasure or something very useful to play this strategically and protect the things that you need so now we're getting into the big boys uh intrepid truffle snout look at this silly guy right here eating eating uh eating mushrooms and looking for truffles uh one green and one he gets the ability to go hog wild you gotta love it they even have puns on the cards plus two plus two into the end of turn as an instant adventure very useful um uh, very useful when you're swinging in with flying or somebody isn't expecting you to hit get that extra two damage a hit in or something like that then of course you can do he is a three one fairly aggressive uh great to use the fly ability that we're going to bring in on the game with him and he get a food token so you can gain some life so very cool pig right there uncommon so now here's the three little pigs as you know from the stories we have one that is wearing a witch's hat oh, let's start with first um, this is the Selesnia one, or it's white or green, either one, flexibility. He has the ability to eat an enchantment or uh, exile an artifact or an enchantment. Love that. Only once, and you get to play the Selesnia either or and one. So great little ability right there. He's a 2-2-2 two, two, two drop. Fantastic. 
Second little pig is going to be the magic one who is wearing a witch's hat and has little wingies on him when pigs fly, am I right? Um, he is either Orzov, either or, one, so two drop, two three, and then if you play two Orzov or two, uh, and then two, he perpetually becomes a boar spirit with a base power and toughness and gains flying. He becomes a four four. You can only do it once. Um, but he becomes a 4-4 four, four flying. He activates his little potion wings right there and becomes magical and swings out. Uh, very, very useful to have a 4-4 four, four flying. And then the third little pig is this guy right here who is also looking for mushrooms and truffles, which they love. He is the Golgari pig. Black Golgari color, 1-2-2, two, two, as most of them are, except for second. Um, when other, whenever you conjure one or more other cards, third little pig perpetually gets 1-1. One, one. This ability triggers even if he's in the graveyard, so he has that Golgari graveyard bonus right there. Um, yeah, very good one. Trexodactyl said this deck has some chops. Absolutely it does. You can see them right here. So that's how the three little pigs work. And then we have Conjure. You're going to see the Conjure come up. I'm also including the Contagious Vorak. This actually sees play in standard. Uh, believe it or not, this Phyrexian Boar Beast. Uh, why? Because it mana fixes. And especially with an Abzan deck like this, you might want to mana fix. Uh, when he enters the battlefield, look at the top four cards and reveal a land card, put it in your hand. So uh, if you don't put a card into your hand this way, you get to proliferate. So anybody with a 1-1 one -one counter gets more stuff. Uh, not a bad for a common boar beast right here. He is a crazy completed boar. Why not? So now here's the other two ones. And you're saying, Jay, why not more of these? Well, I'm trying to be light on the, I'm trying to be light on the, um, on the rares. I do have more. You can put more if you want to put like a little bit left and you want to put more swine rebellion or porcine portent i don't care uh but here's a picture of all of them all together here's kind of their story so swine rebellion is going to be one green and two um if you control three or more cards with three different names uh conjure each card from the three little big pigs uh spell book onto the battlefield the three little pig spell book is in fact the three little pigs as you can see right there if you control two or few with different names Conjure two cards from your choice from the three little pigs into your hand, then put one of them on the battlefield. So um, that's very cool. So if you control three or more with different names, you get each card. So you can actually not necessarily have these. You could have an intrepid, a truffle snout, a vorak, and one of these, and it's three different names, and then you get the three little pigs automatically. They're going on the revenge right here. He said they're going to go to the wolf's house and tear it down, of the pig's revenge. Um, and then Porcine Portent is a great one here. This is probably the better one. I'd say invest in this one more. Um, one white and three. Lend a ham. Oh yeah, it'll never end. Exile target creature. That's a removal as an instant off Lend a ham. Um, you gain one life for each boar you control. Fantastic stuff right there. And we get to exile a creature. Then we put down Porcine Portent. We see the lovely art of all three of them right here. Um, when Porcine Portent enters the battlefield... And uh, conjure a card of your ch choice from the Three Little Pigs spellbook onto the battlefield. Boars you control get plus one, plus one. So it's a boost up captain card, and we get another one of the pigs right there. So you're saying, I get a lot from Swine Rebellion and Porcine Portent. Maybe I want less of these. You certainly could. You could do like less one of that and less one of that, and then more and more of that. Uh, I would only say Second uh, second Little Pig is probably the most important one. But either way, I had perfect, perfectly fine time just running it like this. Boonbringer Valkyrie. Why do we do this in here? Because I want to win when pigs fly. Oh, yes. Why? Uh, Angel um, Angel Warrior It is a great finisher. Two white and three. Four, four. It gives somebody plus one flying and first strike and lifelink. We put that on a big. Uh, we put that on a pig. And then, of course, we win when pigs fly. I'm doing the pun again. Uh, so that's what backup does. And then it's just always amazing to have a 4-4 flying first strike lifelink angel warrior in play already. that's They're not expecting. They're really like, oh, it's a pig deck. It's just silly. Nope. Badass angel coming in and ripping everyone up. Um, good stuff. And, of course, we can swing in. We can use a swing in with a flying one here, a flying her here, and then gave somebody else flying. Very useful. Then, of course, the finisher here, this evil witch-looking lady. Um... She is the driver of the swine, the drover of the swine. Uh, she is Abzan color, so green, black, white, and two. So she's a five drop, five, five human warlock, which basically just means witch. They made them all warlocks. And when she enters the battlefield, choose one, 
conjure a card of uh, of your choice from three little pigs onto the battlefield. That's okay. You just get a free one of the pigs. Fine. Okay. But the better one is, is late game when all of these pigs have been dying over and over and over and over again, return up to three target creature, car three boar cards from, uh, from your graveyard with different names to the battlefield. Really, really powerful because you can play a Vorak, you can play a first and like another one. You can get a lot of creatures back out on the battlefield and she's a five, five as well, which is pretty heavy. Um, so being able to like sacrifice them, use them as blockers and know you're going to build up the Drover of the Swine and immediately res them for the next big attack. Very, very useful right there with that Abzan Drover of the Swine Warlock. Uh, five planes, one swamp, two forests right there. Like I said, it's mostly white. We have Caves of Koilos, Restless Fortress. Great to have some man lands in this one, by the way. They've really come in handy with Restless Fortress and um, uh, Restless Cor Fortress and Restless Cottage. Lanawar Waste right there, Brushland, and of course, Rager Verge Thicken. Uh, love it right there. So a little bit, we don't really have a full Abzan, but we have enough mana to base to support this. This is the War Pigs calling. Uh, 22 creatures, 18 of them boar. Yes, you've seen it, guys. A boar tribal, absolutely pushing on diamond with boar tribal. I can't believe it. It doesn't make any sense. It shouldn't be, yet here we are. Uh, that's what we're talking about. Eight instant, three sorceries, three enchantments, 24 lands altogether, 2.7 average. That's fine. It's not that It's not that bad. We move pretty pretty smoothly. It's better when we're on the play and we have some early plays. So I'd watch out for those mulligans when you don't have a lot of early plays and you're on the draw. This deck is not super fast. It's more of a mid-range combo. Uh, 24 lands as we go right there. Alchemy, sorry about that, guys. There's no way to make it standard. I've made standard versions of other versions, but this relies way too much on what we're doing in alchemy and i think that's a good thing it's very fun to do so the only alternate i have for you is maybe put some more pigs or swap out swine rebellion or um porcine portent and then of course if you want to do different types of removal i'm not mad at that either um that's a perfectly fine way of doing things as well so leave a comment tell me what you think did this thing make bacon for you i need to know it i need your best pig puns in the comment your boar pugs puns your hog puns pig puns bacon puns ham chops all of them they're all relevant they need to be down there in the comments here we go boys bigger pig and alchemy we're going to start an alchemy play and then we're going to go to rank but we are going to get some ranked in don't worry about that that doesn't sound good at all what could it have caught from dabo a pair of dabos Full pair of Davos. Can hardly hear me. Uh oh. There we go. You should be able to hear me nice and smoothly right now. There we go. How about now? zoom <clears throat> uh this time it was the podcast any other thing that takes over we just did a podcast with the numbest of skulls aka numb skull you may know him you may not um but uh we just did a podcast and uh that's what did this time Third little pig See, you got, you got that life. You got that life figured out, huh? Ooh, Malakir Callblade. Very nice. We almost have Drover the Swine out. 
He's gonna do it again. Alright. He just has removal in, and then literally all he has is kill cards. As you wanna see. I mean look at that. That's you know. Push it back. Yay, Boonbringer. I want to make pigs fly. That's my whole idea. That's literally all I want with this deck is to make pigs fly, guys. I want it. I have to have it. Watch this. Call blade, very nice. Drover the Swine, very good card. If you can see that if you kill them and it brings them all back. Alright, he's gonna do I Core. You gonna play uh, Gix Yagmoth Praetor? Yeah, he is. Yeah, you are, aren't you, man? You silly, silly goose. You silly goose. I'm not a goose, I'm pigs. Why would you do that? Unclear. Unclear as to why you would do that. Bonebringer Valkyrie. Um, unfortunately, the pigs can't fly, but these guys got this lady has to. So we can hit and steal the life and go back. We will make pigs fly with the other, with the uh, second little pig, with the wearing the hat pig. He, have I said pig enough? Does it still sound like a word? Yeah. Sanguine Vamp. Ooh, Vampy Boy. Um, okay, so we're gonna do destroy the creature with the top of the right here. And then uh, we're gonna go in. And then we're gonna do truffle snout. Whoever tries to trap me is gonna get truffle snouted. Get truffle snouted, chump. A machine for pigs. Nice. Man, he play he slings those removals, huh? Pop, pop, pop. Robert the Dragon part. So he fell to the swine. He fell to the swine. Very nice. Fell to the swine he did. Happiness. Love and happiness. That's what it means to be eaten alive by pigs. I, I don't actually think it means that. I'm, I think I'm confused at that saying. Ooh, carnivore. I go first. I'll go for it. Why not? I'll put that on land of wastes. Cognac boar. Contagious boar. Uh... I'll play the white so I have to destroy evil early. Restless Cottage. Oh, All right, well, we'll play the Cognac Boar then. Auto pay. Razor Verge Thicket, that's a good card. Some porcine vor fetish. No, I don't. I no. 
No, please no. No. I don't want that. Yikes. I'm sad that I even... I might have to bleep that out. I might get flagged just for saying that in the video tracks. Hey, what's up, Rip? How you doing? How you doing, Yuki? We ain't seen you in a little while, man. Razor Birch Thicket. Uh, let's put a Cognac Bore out again. Working early. Oh, fantastic. Okay. Contagious Vorak. I like to call it a Cognac Vor... Uh, cognac... Voracious. As I flip them around. Drifty ronin -y. The driftiest Ronin you ever did know. There he goes. The Exile. Um, let's see. Enter the battlefield. Card... Okay, so we're going to put down Restless Cottage. Then we're going to put down Porcine Portrait. And then we're going to say first... Second little pig. Yeah. Boards of Control. He's probably going to play another removal, I would imagine. Oh, it's Defiler of Vigor. Okay. All right, all right. So we're going to put down a Land of War Wastes. We're going to say... Third creature four greater, you need to go away, you don't want you anymore. Um, I think Reprieve is probably the best draw. I'd rather hit for three and have the Reprieve ready than not have that. I think that would probably be the best bet. Because I think he's going to try to play something big here. I think he's probably going to try to play a five drop or something huge. So I feel if we lock out him for a turn... No, he's not. Okay. Alright, Swine Rebellion. Very nice. I'm gonna do that. Um. So we have that. We can do that. We can do that. Go. Boom. There we go. We have a reprieve too. So if he tries to play something big, we can stop him for a minute. You transfer to another store in exchange for a decent rave in the training service. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I remember that Drift Ronin. You're doing good at the new store, yeah. And they said they would, uh, Boogeyman, 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 Boogeyman. Uh, they said they would have no problem, you know, helping you fix your, your machine parts, right? The cybernetic implants that you received, they, they would be happy to help you, um, enhance them in any way that they could. I remember that was part of the deal as well. If, if I remember correctly. Hey, what's up, midweek event, three pigs deck, awesome. Hey, what's up, Diego Cunha? Oh, he's breaching. Guess what? No, you're not. <laughs> that's funny. No, you're not breaching. Oh, I got another reprieve. Oh, that's too bad, huh? Diego Cunha. Everything costs... Everything is cost uh, plus. He's gonna try to do it. Nope. That is a reprieve. Good game. A machine for pigs. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Pegging out on swine wine. You'd love to see it. This isn't the midweek event. I'm not doing midweek midweek event. I might. I, I I really should. I might sneak in there. I have a little bit of time. Are right, we gonna do one more and play cute? Because we seem to be 
Uh, this is Abzan, Abzan Pigs. We seem to be doing okay. Um, I do want to, I do want to go to rank though. I'm very close to diamond. I'd like to get to diamond with two weeks left so I can maybe, if I get a nice good run, I can get a shot. At, hey, what's up, Charmed Hog? That's funny. Um, <clears throat> I can make it maybe get a, a shot at Mythic. Probably not. I'll probably stay in diamond, but hey, you never know. If you get a six win run, um, you're, you're okay. I have this is a bad hand, especially against Foresis Roach. Pretty funny. That we do first little pig. Yeah. Alright. Is he gonna do something to me? Fight? Fight him with him something? Yeah, probably. Maybe, maybe not. Red is faster. <clears throat> Ooh, okay. That's a big boy. That's a big boy. All right. Um, let's do that. Let's find the hand here that we need. Okay. Put that down. Do no. Green toxic. I love it, man. You love to see it. Love to see it. He's going to swing. Oh, he didn't do it. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go destroy target creature with toughness four greater. We get no response for that. Fantastic. Um, and then we're going to go swine wine. Yeah. We have the boost up and we have a reprieve here. Orc logic, the big ones go fast. The bigger the boy, the faster the get. Porcine Rebellion. Swine Rebellion. If you drill three or fewer boards with two different names. So I already have three pigs on the board. Um I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go whole hog. Ah! I'm gonna go whole hog to damage next. We're gonna do this. Then we're gonna put truffle snow for the block. Yeah. Yeah, no. Didn't didn't do it. That's what happens when you go whole hog, ladies and gentlemen. You pig out. Oh, the puns tonight, guys. Puns are going to be absolutely off the chain. You don't even know. You don't even understand. All right. Do we think we... Hey, what's up, Dark? Do we think we even want to try standard? Do we even want to do a dare eat a peach? Alchemy? Let's, let's give it a shot. The cookie said the puns are actively making you more uh, sick. Cookies, your na your whole name is a pun. It's cookies and streams. It's supposed to sound like cookies and creams, but since you're on Twitch, it's cookies and streams. I mean, you you don't have a lot of space to say, oh yeah, puns are dumb. I mean, I'm not I'm not trying to I'm not trying to throw stones here, but uh... It's okay when I do it. Classic defense. That's everyone's. That's everyone's defense for anything ever. Well, I, when I was doing it, it was a good idea. I'm feeling froggy. I'll post a picture in the thing tomorrow. You're the biggest mouth. Good lord. That's not something I wanted to hear. Uh, let's do that. Dominion. Doof. Let's do that. Okay, boom. Alright, 
Alright, we're gonna hold Reprieve because I think he wants to play something. He's probably gonna push the Knight down. Ah, the old rubber glue defense. Invasion of Belleran. Why they're invading Jace, I'll never know. fly. We're gonna make pigs fly next. You won't even believe it. You will believe a pig can fly. Yeah, it'll happen. Alright, Stamwise is stout-hearted. Choose a cart. I'm not sure why he did that. There's nothing in his graveyard. Oh, he can swing it. Okay, he can go in undefended there. Alright, that won't make sense. He really wants that Bellaran. That's. I don't think it's that good. Ever, ever blow up the white tree. Okay. Um. Toughness four more. All right. So we're gonna do the that one. That one. So pigs fly like an eagle. Oh, I should have done the truffles now. That would have been better. You got a removal? He sure does. Nice. He should swing everything in. That would be a great idea. It'd be really good. It'd be great. He'll get that invasion of Belleran. It's gonna be great. He's gonna love it. Yeah. He's got a pump up. Oh, he doesn't have a pump up. He just really wanted to flip that belly. Okay. He just had to get that Bellin on. There's the next Bellin. Oh my god, he's Bellin on. Oh wow. He is Bellin on at a degree that we've never seen. Um Okay, let's do that. Put one of them onto the battlefield. It'll be that one. Uh, we're gonna do destroy target region. Raider, boom. And we'll go take the hit. The station takes the hits right there. Okay, he probably wants to flip Bellinan again. There's Elish Norn. There's the Norny girl. Norny, Norny. Okay, I'm not. I'm at 23 life. I'm really, and he keeps attacking these things. I'm not that worried because I can flip this guy and just put him in damage up front here. So let's do that. Let's make him go fly. Okay. Um, I have another reprieve. So let's just hit him for five right there. Okay, perfect. Nice. Uh, sure. Sure, I'll auto pay. Yeah. Why not? Alright, the reprieve is there. Very good. So if he tries to play something real snazzy, I think we can lock him out. He's got a five. He tries to play a five drop. Ossification. Oof. So he's gonna play that. Um. Let's try it. All right, let's let's let him get it off. All right, so we got that off. He's gonna come in. That's not worth the reprieve. No blocks. Okay, so we do. That we do. That. Pretty 
prevent all damage from black or red. None of this is black or red. The fuck does that? Is, what, what does that do? Oh, it gives hexproof to everything. Oh. Okay. I get it. Let's see if he can overcommit here. Yay. Draw. 13. Boom. Uh, let's do... Two blockers. Um, block that. What is he gonna do here? Classic green jello. Pay, yeah, that's fine. So he got another card. I'd love to draw another card here. Hey, what's up, Eddie Grant? We're doing. Pi oh, when pigs fly. Oh man. My dude. My dude. Oh, that's a damn shame right there, bro. Yeah, that's a real, that's a damn shame. You hate to see that. You just, you hate to see when pigs fly, man. Mm -mm -mm. You just, oh, you hate to see a man go out like that. You know? That's a real, that's, yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's perfect. He said, yeah, he'll win this game when bigs fly. Ah! Way to really ham it up. Oh, man. Oh, we're on one tonight, guys. We're doing abs and pigs, man. We're doing abs and pigs, and that guy did totally did not expect to lose that game. He is probably still sitting there staring at the screen, and he's just going to quit for the night. He's like, all right, I think I've, I've had enough arena. Absolutely, that dude has had enough arena for tonight. <laughs> yeah, the puns are a little ham hit fisted. Yeah. Oof. This is not a great opener, no. Especially me on the play. I mean, on the draw. I'm gonna go, whoa, okay, all right. You know what, fine. Um, we'll get rid of one of those. Not great, not great. Yeah, we're bringing home the bacon right now. Third little pig. In. He wants to dragon fist it. No blocks. Boom. All right. Yeah. No, we can't play Vorak. Damn it. All right. Uh. Well, we got nothing, man. Without green, we're really uh. We're really our bacon is cooked here without green. We got destroy evil, but if he plays a dragon, dragon's whelp. Mm. Eddie Grant, yeah, abs and pigs. Sorry if this deck is a little boring. Ooh. 
Ooh, Hell Scorcher Realm Kite. Whatever. Hey, there's the green boy. Yeah, you got it. You got it. This this guy got it. Um, I hmm. You know what? We're gonna swing in and see if he falls for it. I want him to bring that guy out, or some other thing, and I'll hit destroy evil on it. Let's do Intrepid Troubles now. Let's do that. Take the damage there. I'm not happy with it. Uh, Razor Birch Thicket. Very nice. Dragons get plus one, plus one. I'm sure he's going to play something big here. That's got haste. That's the, Oh, if it's got haste, I don't have... The, yeah, I should have kept the removal. Yeah, we weren't... We didn't... We, we, we got dealt a pretty bad hand here. Um... Oh my goodness, he absolutely punted. Lord mercy. No, 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 he wins anyways. He didn't need to cast that. I forgot that has menace to society. Um, and that's flying. Yeah, bad, bad hand here. Watch your decks. Religiously after work and I'm our Branks. Love the red and wolves. Thank you, man. We just released another red and green deck today, by the way. Uh, Gruel All Stars. So, I'm glad you enjoyed it, man. Hopefully you're liking the videos and subscribing, because I, I think you know what happens when you don't, don't you? I think you know, right? You know. Ooh. Well, we can play some pigs here. Um, yeah, we'll try it. Oppo goes first. I don't like that, but... Uh, He has no instance in his hand. He may have s some sorceries. Incubate. Very good. Out of our waste. Let's do a Borat. Oh, Brushland. Coilos. Orzov Incubate, maybe? Okay, so yeah, he went in with, with that guy. We can actually destroy evil. Um, so we'll do that. We'll do... Uh, we'll do that. We'll do that. Nice. 
hot sand and asphalt. Loaded processor. Okay. Not bad. Interesting. Why don't we put down uh, put down that? There we go. Are we back, by the way? We're not back. Well, how would you see? Well, how would you have known I said that if we weren't back? That's that's my question, man. That doesn't make any sense. How would you have seen that if we weren't back? None of this adds up. None of this adds up. Mm -mm, something's wrong about that. Uh, conjure card. Choose one. Zog. Nice. We're gonna swing. Has he got a boost up or he's just gonna take the hit? He might have a boost up or a res card. I don't know. Or just whatever. Surveil two. Surveil three. Incubate. Okay. What do you got here? Sunfall? Don't be a sunfall. Don't be a sunfall. Kick, he gets to return something. He gets to pick Danish Belenia. Swing. Thank you, babe. One. Right. We're going to do this. All right. Second little pig. Auto pay. Put him in. Here, piggy, piggy, piggy. Oh. Is that the angel? No, that's the Phyrexian Samurai. Alabaster host inside. Oh, it's not enough, man. Bro, it's not enough. This guy's just gonna transform. No, it's not enough. He's just more than meets the eye right here. <laughs> More than meets the eye, bro. Do 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 do. When pigs fly. Green Jello music video. There you go. All right.
Nice. Alright. Maybe a couple more. I'm really going ham on this ladder tonight? Yeah. This sure is a ham ladder. I'm shaking that bacon, you know what I mean? Uh, oh, I go first. Yeah, I'll take that. Twice on Sunday. Oh, yeah, I mean, when I say bacon, I mean bacon, okay? Bacon has no prefix of word to describe, to modify. It has no adjective. We have bacon and Canadian bacon. That's because bacon is the true stream, and Canadian bacon is the alternate. So let's do that. If you control three... Da, da, da. Swine Rebellion. Swing. Bang. There we go. When I live in Gavin, I got my bacon and Tim Hortons on a bagel. It's proper bacon. I don't know. I only ever see people talking about Canadian bacon in terms of pizza. I don't know about you, but like whenever I, people are like, oh, I put Canadian bacon on it. They're always just like, oh, it was on the pizza. Hmm. Let's see here. Let's do first bacon. Let's do that. Let's see if he wants to take a hit. That's cool. Okay, if I can get another mana hit another destroy evil, and then hit a truffle snout with a full swing. I'm actually doing a significant amount of damage. That'll be six, and four will be ten damage. So I really just need a him to not play removal, and then uh, him don't play removal, and then me to get a mana. That's the ideal. So he did nothing. Okay. Then I play destroy target creature with toughness four or greater. They think it sounds more classy than saying ham. Possibly. Ooh, convoke. He's gonna destroy. That's fine. He's got to play the removal. He's gonna surveil. Okay, so then we're gonna go trap his truffle right there. 
we're gonna hit for six. That puts him down to eight. Um, if I get a land and I can put Boonbringer over, that was just another Nazgul. It's not that threat. Okay. Oof. Yeah, definitely. There we go. You made a what? You made a Jeskai Battle? Jeskai Battle Mouse deck? What's with you in Triple Color lately? Not that I'm complaining, but I feel like you've been in that Triple Color mood lately. That's a GG right there. The Nazgul submits to the true kings, of course, pigs. Fantastic. I can't believe we're going to make diamond with pigs. That's nuts. That is pretty crazy. We absolutely went on a pig killing spree here. As a matter of fact, let's check the stats on this bad boy right now. Um, let's see here. All right, guys, we're going to leave it right there for tonight. It's performed way overperformed what it's supposed to, man. We went on a seven win with one loss right here tonight. Like, ridiculously powerful pig game. Uh, absolutely hilarious. Love that it's a meme deck that actually works. That is about... Yeah, talk about War Pigs. I think I might have to call it that one. On the knees, the War Pigs crawling. Da All right, guys. Until next time, War Pigs. I've been Jay Villain. You've been great. Lord Soren, welcome, man. Bye-bye.